It's no secret that Surgeon Ratcliffe wants to build a new Old Trafford and he wants to build one quickly. He's already formed the team, he's already getting down to action and we're going to break down everything that you need to know, everything that's come out today, every little bit of information. Now there's no guarantee we get a new Old Trafford, we could just be rede redeveloping the current Old Trafford and the area around it because the Glazers have run the scrub dry, there's lack of funds there. But Jim Ratcliffe is doing the best he can, getting the best team he can, because he wants to build the best stadium in the North, probably the best stadium in the world. He wants to be the best of the best, and he wants it done quick, because he's an old man. Now, let's dive into the news, and then we're going to dive into the statements, what's been said, and then talk about what would this new Old Trafford look like, what is the plan, what do we know about the plan. So do hit that like button, and of course, subscribe down below if you're new. James Docker said earlier today before the official announcement that Lord Sebastian Co will spearhead a special task force that would include Gary Neville and Andy Burham to explore a potential creation of a new Manchester United stadium as the centrepiece of a wider regeneration project in the area. So they want to do a whole regeneration project of the area, which is really needed and, and would be really good. And then obviously a new stadium would be the plan for that. Obviously, Man United don't have the funds because of how badly the Glazers have run the club to just go and build a new stadium out of pocket. But if it could be a regeneration plan, if it could be supported, there could be something massive there. It was said that Ratcliffe has formed a 10-person task force to fully examine the world leading new stadium, could support wider renewal of uh, areas surrounding Old Trafford and drive social and economic improvements to the region. So they're already sort of putting their team together under. So let's dive into the plan. Let's dive into why they put this team together and more. It was said the stadium task force is expected to provide recommendations this year with Sergio Macklin ensuring no time is wasted. Ratcliffe just wants to get to action, wants to get to business. He's got this task force together. He wants a plan to be put in place. An economic impact study will be commissioned to assess the potential social economic benefits of the stadium pro uh, projects and fans and local residents will be closely consulted throughout the process. Surgeon Macbeth wants the task force to examine the possibility of a new stadium that is also equipped to host major international European finals as well as a new class home for new world-class home for United. Sergeant Macbeth wants his Wembley of the North. He wants his Wembley of the North. He wants it quick. He wants Man United to be the best in class at everything, and he's going to need support for that. There's no guarantee that this is going to happen because he's going to need support for that, but that's why he's put a world-class team together to try and get that support to do the Wembley of the North. Man United have come out with a statement. A joint task force has been created to explore options for, rege for regeneration of Old Trafford and the Greater Manchester with the development of a world-class football stadium at the heart of the project. So not just the stadium, but the area around it. It was said the Old Trafford Regeneration Task Force will bring together local leaders and national experts to examine how the stadium development can support renewal of an area of the city with rich industrial history and huge potential for the future and deliver social and economic benefits for the entire region. Chaired by Lord Sebastian Coe, former chairman of the organising committee for the 2012 London Olympics, the task force will assess the feasibility of a new stadium of national significance equipped to host international games and finals, as well as providing a modernised home for Manchester United. Other members will include Andy Burham, the mayor of Manchester, Sarah Todd, chief executive of Traffic Tra Tra Council, Gary Neville, etc, etc. Now, to dive into this and to give you a little bit more insight on this, the Olympics, the Stratford project, how they regenerate Stratford, the area around the Olympic Park, that's obviously by they're bringing in Sebastian Co. Basically, Man United can't afford to build a new stadium because the Glazers should run a stride. But if we build this Wembley of the North, this proper stadium up north, the government can use that for other things. We can that can be used for concerts, that can be used for a wide variety of things, international events. All of a sudden, you've got this great event venue in the north, not just Wembley in the south, but you've got this great event event venue in the north, and that's what United want to get behind. You know, the Olympic project, that regeneration there. They want to regenerate Old Trafford to it being a place that everyone will use because. They want Old Trafford to be, the new Old Trafford to be the best stadium in the world. Jim Ratcliffe can redevelop Old Trafford, but by looking at this, it's very obvious that he wants a new Old Trafford and he wants it to be the best Old Trafford in the world. It was said, working in synergy with Trafford's council and Trafford Whiteside framework, the project aims to support the revitalisation of the area between the Trafford Park and the banks of the Salford Quays. Just to show you that there, that is the area they plan to rejuvenate and they likely build an Old Trafford next to the current one, which we're going to show you later on. Now, I'm interested to see what Gary Neville said on this. I'm interested to see what a few people have said on this. And then I'm interested to look at the AI concept of what this may look like in your opinions. I'm kind of at the point just to give my opinion where I almost don't want to get rid of Old Trafford because it's too historic and it's too amazing. But I think the way football is going, you need an elite stadium. And Old Trafford was the best stadium in the world once. Old Trafford was this elite, brilliant stadium, but it's fallen behind because they've ignored it for 18 years. These parasite owners have ignored it for 18 years that 
we need to have a great new stadium and is that possible to rejuvenate Old Trafford that much or do we need a brand new modern stadium? Looks like Ratcliffe's going for the modern stadium. Gary Neville said, I'm incredibly fortunate to have the privilege of playing hundreds of games at Old Trafford and no one can take away those amazing memories. But Old Trafford has evolved throughout its history and it's clear we're at a point where it has to change to ensure that Manchester United has the best world-class stadium um, benefiting the world's greatest club. He said, while I want the best for Manchester United, I also want the same for the surrounding community. Old Trafford should be a stadium that the whole of the greater Manchester can take pride in and it can be the catalyst for sustainable, cohesive growth in the area of the city that has been neglected so long. And the idea of putting this out is to say not only are we going to build Man United a world-class stadium that, that everyone can use, it can be used for national and international events, but this is going to be part of improving the greater Manchester area and making you know economic sense. Lord Coe said, throughout my career, I've seen potential for stadiums to become the focal point of strong communities, blah, 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 the London 2012 Olympics. And he spoke about being honoured to share this, not really interested in what Coe said. Uh, Ratcliffe did say, on the other hand, that this can be a major regeneration project for an area of Greater Manchester, which has played such a key role in the British industrial history, but today requires new investment to thrive again. He then said, the north uh, west of England has a greater connection of major football clubs than anywhere else in the world, yet they don't have a stadium on the scale of Wembley, New Camp or Bernabeu. We will not be able to change that on our own, which is why the task force is important to help us seize this opportunity. Ratcliffe wants a new stadium that is the new camp, that's the Bernabeu, that's the Wembley of the North. He wants a great stadium in the North. The Mayor of the Greater Manchester, Andy Burham, said that development of one of the most iconic stadiums of world football will help attract investment, create jobs and lead new opportunities, blah, 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 blah. Again, trying to sell it to see if they can get the financial backing to build this new stadium and talking about how it will improve the Greater Manchester area. The Chief Executive of the Council, Sarah Todd, again said that she's pleased to confirm that their commitment to this new thing, blah, 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 blah. You can pause and read that if you want, but I don't think we're that interested in what they say. In terms of who would be helping with this whole situation, this is the list of names on your screen of those that would be helping. Again, who cares? Continuing on, it was said that an economic impact study will be commissioned to assess the potential socio-economic benefits of the project. Fans and local residents will be closely consulted throughout the process and the task force is expected to make recommendations this year. They've already started action. They've already got a task force together. Jim Macliff is already, he's not even been here a couple of months and he's already got his task force together. They're already here planning to build a new stadium. They're working on it. There's going to be speaking to fans, getting insight on what, what, what it might feel to them. They're trying to build up a case to say, look, Please give us funding to build a new Old Trafford Stadium. la di -dar, la di -dar, la di -dar. They're working on it. They want it done. Someone did say that Ratcliffe's probably got 10 years left and he'll want this stadium built before something may happen to him. I'm not trying to be dark, but he is old. You get my point. Where would it be, this new Old Trafford Stadium, getting into the point? It would be next to the current stadium, it is believed. I'm not sure what's going to happen with the current stadium. The idea of tearing the current stadium down is, for me, doesn't sit right with me. I think it would have to be used... Uh, maybe it can be maybe 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 redeveloped and made a little bit smaller. Maybe it can be used for the women's team. Maybe it can be used for the academy. Doesn't feel right getting rid of Old Trafford. That stadium is so historic for me, if you know what I mean. But I do understand the need for a new stadium. Um, in terms of AI concepts, you can see some sort of rough concepts here. Um, we can all the areas around it. But it would be like a sort of Wembley with a little bit of a roof there, but keeping the Old Trafford thing more of a modernised approach to the stadium. Now, I'm really intrigued to know what you guys would feel about a new stadium. Would you just want the current Old Trafford regenerated or do you want a new Wembley of the North? Bish bash bosh, brilliant stadium as well. Um, I, I want to, I'm interested to know your thoughts. Man United are clearly working on this. It's clear that Sergio Macliffe wants to build a new Old Trafford. It's clear that that is the goal. They may have to redevelop it if they don't get the funds, but they're working. They're working to get things done quick. And it is, they want the best stadium in the world. Man United used to have the best stadium in the world, but the Glazers neglected it for 18 years. Man United want to build the best stadium in the world again as well. I've always probably preferred the idea of a refurbished Old Trafford um, just because I feel like it's too historic to knock down. But when you learn about how difficult that will be, and, and actually, it could be more work to refurbish Old Trafford because of how it's been neglected for so long and how different everything is. Building a new stadium might be the way. That might be what we have to do. I just I just don't want to say bye to the old stadium. Maybe I'm a little bit um, sort of old school with that as well. But anyway, people, please hit the like button. Please do subscribe down below if you're new. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.